Okay friends, one of the first things we need to do is safely raise and support the vehicle so that the suspension's hanging. The best way to do that is right underneath the frame. Once you've done that, remove all five lug nuts and remove the wheel. Now I'm gonna take a nice pry bar and I'm gonna come in between the caliper and the rotor itself and just try to push in the pistons a tiny bit. Perfect. Now we're gonna take the caliper off. We wanna make sure we don't put a tug on our flex hose when the knuckle comes down. It's good to have something hanging off the frame so you can hang the caliper once it's off. There we are. Go ahead and set that so it's gonna be safe. Let's get the rotor off of here. So we're gonna take off our tie rod end nut here, so just go ahead and bend out that little clip. Remove the nut. I like to leave it on a couple threads. Now we're gonna bonk right along here to separate the tie rod from the knuckle. Set this up here. Now let's go ahead and take off our axle nut using a 36 millimeter socket. Now you just wanna make sure the axle can move in and out of the wheel bearing. If it can't, you can of course put the nut back on a few good threads, give it a couple of loving bonks until it does. Now looking at the back side of the knuckle, along where the axle connects into it, you're gonna see three mounting bolts for the wheel bearing itself. There's one here, one on top, and then one towards the front. Remove all three. There's one. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull those bolts out. There we are. Now we can come up here and grab this bearing. There it is, friends. Now that the bearing's off, there's something that we need to pay attention to, and that's all the corrosion that's along the area right here. You need to scrape that off. You don't want anything left on there. Use a nice scraper or a chisel or whatever you have, maybe even a nice brush. Get inside there, and that's gonna be great. Clean it down. The copper never sees. Now let's go ahead and get our new wheel bearing up onto here. Start in all three bolts. I like to use a tiny bit of red thread locker. Now that we have all three of them started in, let's go ahead and snug them up. Let's go ahead and torque these bolts to 122 foot-pounds. Let's get the tie rod stud back in here. Put on our nut. Snug it up. Let's go ahead and torque this to 45 foot-pounds. Once again, we need to continue on to make sure that it's lined up. Looks like it could go a little further. Get a cotter pin in there. Make sure you pin it over. Make sure you clean up the back side of your rotor where the mating surface is. Let's apply a little bit of copper never seize on the bearing. Go ahead and put your rotor up on there. Now we're gonna grab the caliper, start it on there as well. Use a little red thread locker if you're not gonna be replacing your nut, but it is recommended to replace the nut. Now we're gonna to need to torque down the nut. To do that, you can either put the wheel on without the center cover and then torque the nut, or you can just use a nice long bar, come across the studs like this, lock it in, and torque it. Now let's torque it to 185. Let's go ahead and start the caliper on there. There we are. Start in both of your bolts. It's a good idea to use a little bit of thread locker on these. Okay, let's bottom these out. Now let's torque these to 138 foot-pounds. Now it's going to be time to get the wheel up on here. We're going to snug up the lug nuts and we'll torque it to 130 foot-pounds.
torqued. We're just going to go ahead and pump up that brake pedal. That feels good. Okay, so now at this point, what you want to do is take it for a road test and, of course, get it down to your local alignment shop.